New Zealand is home to 12 active volcanoes. While it pales in comparison to Indonesia's 147, said to be the largest number of active volcanoes in a country in the world, many of New Zealand's volcanoes have caused historic destruction after erupting. Most recently, in 2019, 47 people were on White Island when its active stratovolcano erupted. A plume of ash, toxic gas and rocks was sent 12,000 feet into the sky. And while rescue crews rushed to get people off the island, some 22 people were killed. Advanced technologies have enabled New Zealand to reduce the number of deaths and level of destruction caused by volcanoes. But this wasn't always the case. In 1886, the country experienced one of its worst ever eruptions on Mount Tarawera in the North Island, part of the Okatina Volcanic Center, which eventually extended to Waimangu. It was explored during the Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Aerial New Zealand, in a clip titled The Volcanoes That Still Threaten New Zealand's Safety. Here, the narrator noted, villagers in 1886 woke up to violent earthquakes, unbeknownst to them, they were living in the shadow of an active volcano. After three hours of shaking, they looked up in horror, to see not one peak, but three erupting. The smoke and fire shot a mile into the sky. Mud and ash then began raining down on the inhabitants. While many fled for cover, 120 people were caught up in the aftermath and died. It is one of the worst natural disasters in New Zealand's history, but it could happen again. According to the Institute of Geological and Nuclear Sciences in New Zealand, the extent of Mount Tarwera's volcanic potential is little known. In an analysis piece, it noted, much less well known is that Mount Tarawera is only one volcano within the Okatina Volcanic Center, an area of many recently active vents lying between Rotorua and Kaurau. Crucially, it added, these vents have erupted in prehistoric times, and will erupt again.